from mid-August to mid-June, 39 drivers, three aides, two mechanics, five grounds mechanics, and four office staff report to 275 New Jersey Drive for work. The seven mechanics report to the 12,600 square foot garage, while the other 48 staff members report to the 470 square foot office trailer. Every day, drivers and aides enter and exit the trailer at least four times in order to check assignments, get keys, and turn in reports to transport roughly 3,500 students to six district buildings and 45 private and parochial schools. Over the last 15 plus years, the needs of the district have outgrown this once temporary condition. The current trailer has limited space for drivers to complete their required paperwork, take breaks between runs, and has three staff members sharing one of the tiny office spaces. The interior lighting of the trailer is insufficient in the hallway where drivers are able to receive their mail, which is problematic. In the upcoming months, the size of the office space will increase, which will not only give the transportation manager privacy when he needs to have a confidential conversation with a staff member without going to a different location if one's even available, but will provide a meeting space for professional development without having to venture out to one of our other district buildings. Another downside to the offices are the facilities that the trailer provides. Although there is a working restroom in the office trailer, it is not connected to an active sewer system, which requires a septic truck to come out to empty the tank weekly in order to retrieve the waste. Another downside to this off-site location is the inability to be on the district network, which reduces cybersecurity as well as presents other communication hurdles. Then there is the garage space. Two of the perks of the garage is that it is larger than we need and it is well lit in the work areas. However, that lighting is very noisy and makes some aspects of the job difficult, especially identifying air leaks on brake systems. Another downside is that the space offers little security by way of parts and supplies for both our transportation and our grounds department. As you see, there's only one overhead door to get vehicles in and out of the garage, which requires careful planning. The space itself isn't in the best shape with uneven floors, makeshift walls, and requires using a ramp to get vehicles in and out of the garage. Lastly, the facility is shared with another business and we often have to contend with their tractor trailers making deliveries, which makes entering and exiting the property and parking on the property difficult. Thank you very much for your time.